Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today on a beautiful summer's day at Branston Golf and Country Club. Today's video is all going to be about the first tee nerves. So I'm going to give you a couple of really simple tips that can make you relax and hit a better opening tee shot next time you're out on the golf course. Stay tuned to find out more. As mentioned, today's video is all going to be about the first tee nerves. So I'm on the first tee here at Branston Golf Club and I've got a driver in my hand. It might not be a club I would necessarily take on this particular one, but often it's going to be your first shot of the day and most of us are taking perhaps our longest club. So I'm going to go with this club to replicate what you guys would be experiencing using the driver for the first shot. Of course, I'd always encourage warming up at least having some practice swings if you don't get a chance to hit some so at least your muscles are starting to loosen up and you're feeling a little bit more confident with it. But I'm going to go through a few easy tips that you can do next time you're faced with the first tee shot to make sure you're more relaxed and in a better situation to hit a good opening tee shot. So the first thing I want you to do is actually try and visualize the shot you want to hit. So I want you to, when you're having some practice swings, not have them with your head down just trying to brush the grass back and through. I actually want you to allow your head, you don't even have to do them at full speed, but allow your head to rotate. Try and get the feeling of striking the ball, visualize what shot you're gonna hit. Maybe visualize the best shot you've ever hit, but really pick specific targets. So I've got a fairway here that's relatively generous. It's probably not quite so generous where I'm gonna be hitting driver to, but at its wide point here, it's a good 30 yards. Okay, so you might be faced with a narrower shot than that, I realize that. But I want you to pick something very specific. So I've got the tallest tree in the distance is straight over the flag and it's a really good line for me. So I'm actually picking that tree. If you're a more advanced golfer, you may even be actually picking a start line and an end point if you're shaping the ball. So where you want the ball to start, where you want the ball to finish and imagine the curvature of that shot as well. But I really want you to try, start to visualize the shot you want to hit and the target. That's going to be the first thing to make sure you're relaxed. The second part I want you to do is make sure you breathe. And I know that sounds really simple, but uh, a lot of golfers are when they're getting tight and tense, they're holding their breath in there, they're not relaxing. I want you to make sure you're taking some deep breaths in when you're going through your setup routine. So we're actually taking the deep breath in and breathing out through our nose. So we're relaxing ourselves and actually calming our heart rate, uh, controlling it rather than actually getting more uptight and tense over it. So I really want you to relax with the shot and breathe a little bit more. The third thing, so while I'm setting up, I'll get set up to this one. I'm focusing on my breathing. The third thing I want you to do is just have just one or two nice waggles or you might just take that club away so we haven't got too much static time over the golf ball. What we don't want to do is get over the golf ball and freeze. So we want to get over the ball, relax ourselves with our breaths, either waggle the golf club or what I'd prefer to see is perhaps just a takeaway rehearsal movement, really trying to let that tension go out of your forearms, definitely not trying to go tighter. So I'm focusing on my breathing. I'm rehearsing that first movement and trying to get the tension out of my arms. And the final thing we're going to be trying to do is make sure we have a trigger to start our golf swing. So a trigger is just a, a point where we know, right, this is it. My brain is engaged. I know I'm going to be starting my golf swing. Different people have had different things. All, if you haven't got one, what I'm going to encourage you to do, so I'm setting up, I'm focusing on my breathing, I'm rehearsing my takeaway, just trying to feel the tension fall out my arms and the last thing I'm going to do is look towards my target when my eyes come back to the ball that is my trigger telling me right I'm ready to swing okay so the first thing was visualizing the shot when I'm having my practice swings the second part was making sure I'm breathing I know that sounds really simple but it works breathe while you're doing it Third point was trying to let the tension fall out your arms with that rehearsal takeaway or maybe a waggle. And the fourth point is have a trigger. Develop something that tells your brain I'm ready to start. So my trigger is going to be I'm ready to go. I'm going to look towards my target. When my eyes come back to the ball, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to go. Let me see if I can hit this shot for you. 
If I can't, I've got the second ball ready. Always have a second ball just in case you muck up the first. Right, so let me see if I can do that. I'm gonna go through the full routine. I'm gonna have my practice swings, not worrying about the pace of them, allowing my head to turn, trying to visualize the shot I'm gonna hit. I only stand behind to try and pick a, an intermediate target, something to aim over. So I'm gonna go ahead and align myself. Concentrating on my breathing. I'm gonna rehearse the takeaway move. Full tension out my arms. The last thing I'm gonna do is look to my target and then go. Oh, I don't think I should hit a second one. Nice, soft little fade started, bang on my target, finished straight down the center. That was just a backup. Luckily, I don't need it. I know those four points are really gonna help you next time you're on the first tee. You're gonna get rid of those first tee nerves and make sure you hit a better tee shot. If you did enjoy the content of that video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. It is for free. New content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5.30. Thanks guys, we'll see you soon.